Hello. Great to see everyone. Hola a todos. I'm going to try to do this in English as best as I can. <laughs> uh, well, as Jose mentioned, uh, this is a new world, a new America, and this was the inspiration for the theme of the conference. Uh, really, we are in a new world, not only in terms of multicultural uh, influence and how the country is changing, also a new world for advertising. We, are, uh, we experience every day this uh, relation with entertainment, uh, the big uh, growth of, of uh, digital, all the new stuff that we do every day is also a new world. Uh, so our question is, who's leading in this new world? The new world of the multicultural, new country, and the new world of the entertainment uh, related to advertising and digital and all the new non-traditional media. And uh, that's what we want here to ask ourselves, and we want everybody to ask themselves. Are we leading? Do we have an opportunity there? How we're going to be working for this? Are we already doing it? And uh, of course, in many other areas, Latinos are already leading. And uh, we thought it was a nice opportunity to, to learn from our industries. From the beginning, we wanted to move uh, ahead from, from advertising, creative, or planning. We wanted to, to think about how other Latino leaders are making a difference and influencing so many parts of our society because at the end of the day we are members of this society and we are, are responsible also for the content and the culture that we generate. We, we ask a lot of questions because we projected ahead uh, to where we wanted our industry to be. We, we ask ourselves, uh, for example, like, what thing we, we should really leave behind and also what should become like the rule and the norm rather than the exception of one person or one outstanding agency. We believe that we have like the, the, the capacity to really become leaders uh, and full of advertising agencies leading uh, in this new world. And we, we thought about what does it mean for us being a leader. And for us it's about bravery, it's about the commitment to build a great future it's about not complaining or blaming others, but making the change that we should make. And it's having people with the eyes on the horizon, not just on the bottom line, be ready to transform the way that we would like in order to arrive to our vision and not stay with our reality only. And we found out a great quote that inspired us in order to develop this, co this whole content of this conference and in order to select a diverse group of speakers that will accompany us during these two days, and is that the best leadership does not generate followers, it generates other leaders. And with this in mind, we have a great agenda for you. We, we, we will start today with one of the leaders responsible for changing the way Latino children see themselves, followed by leaders in the world of music, account planning, and advertising creative. Tomorrow, we feature uh, client leaders, leaders who have made and continue to make change in the world of, of, of Hollywood and media. Uh, the new creative leaders uh, that we just brief in for the contents of the young creative. And also, the responsible that make the change of all the generated content in film industry and, and interactive world. So if you're ready, we're ready, and let's look who's leading. And uh, we're going to start with a session that is brought to you by Spanish Broadcasting System. And uh, before I introduce this first uh, speaker, uh, there's a story I want to tell because it's related, very related to this. When I, when I came to the US to work eight years ago, actually before that, when I came for my first interview, they were explaining to me what the Hispanic market was, uh, and really, working, having always worked in Argentina, I didn't have really a, a clue <laughs> of what the Hispanic market was. You don't know how, how important Latinos are. When, uh, at that moment, you didn't know how important the Hispanic market was. And I saw a big opportunity, but I didn't understand at the beginning what they were telling me. Uh, but one of the things that helped me a lot to understand it was when I 
finally moved, and I saw Dora the Explorer for the first time. If you see that character, <laughs> uh, you understand. You understand uh, where are Latinos, where are, where are going from that moment. I think it's a great example. And then with the years, with my daughter growing here, being completely bilingual, and really talking like Dora, for me it's like, <laughs> it makes full sense. So, um, but it, was on, it wasn't always like that for Dora. Uh, here we have uh, a speaker who's gonna uh, tell us about the story of how this wonderful character was created. And uh, at the beginning, believe it or not, Dora could have been uh, a Marcianito, a Martian, could have been, uh, they, they explored different ways because Nicoleon was already very successful in connecting with kids. So they thought about a little bunny, like a conejito, a Marcianito, a very different things. Uh, until Bram Johnson came along. And uh, she said, forget the animal ideas, and, and she saw the opportunity of uh, showing a, a Latino character and creating this wonderful, very Latina Dora the Explorer, who took the world by storm and inspired a whole new world of thinking. So please put your hands together for Brown Johnson, President, Animation, Nickelodeon, MTV, and Kids, and Family Group. disco here. Um, but thank you so much, uh, Pablo and Florencia, for the great introduction. It really is a, quite an honor for me to be here. And uh, quite an honor for Miss Dora, who's come such a long way from uh, 10 years ago when she was born on a piece of paper in New York City. Uh, I am thrilled to be speaking to such a talented, creative group of advertising professionals. And I'm thrilled to have met and be working with your chairman, Jose Lopez Varela. Uh, and um, thrilled to be able to talk with you about a subject that's really close to my heart. Dora la exploradora. Uh, I love your theme, look who's leading. That was a really great quote, I think, about uh, the fact that leaders create other leaders, not just followers. Really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. Uh, but you guys are the ones who are leading. You're leading by fulfilling a, a great mission, by growing and strengthening the Hispanic market and the advertising industry. You're leading by mentoring and creating more opportunities for more Latinos to have an impact on the economy. And you're leading by cluing the rest of America to the enormous economic power of the Latino communi community empowering and lifting up Hispanics in the marketplace and throughout society. So I'm honored, I'm deeply honored to be invited to share my thoughts with you today. And I think I have a pretty good story to tell. It's the story of how a white Anglo, that would be me, uh, named Brown gave birth to an animated eight-year-old Latina who revolutionized kids' TV. And believe me, the delivery was slow and full of complications but, you know, we forget about it once the baby's born, right? <clears throat> so for me, Dora's birth was a milestone on a journey that began back in the 70s. Uh, I was a college student then and fascinated with the power of media and with the teachings of Marshall McLuhan. As he noted, media shapes our society, and I wanted to be a part of that. I got my first start at Mademoiselle Magazine. And uh, I think all of us women would admit that nothing influences our self-esteem and self-perception like a fashion magazine. And it was intriguing to participate in the process firsthand. Mademoiselle also gave me the opportunity to work with the amazing Judy McGrath. She and I started at Mademoiselle the same day. Now she's chairman of MTV Networks. I don't know what happened. So she's my boss. <clears throat> 